Arcade Edge here with an update on Missile Command and Super Pack. So this morning I came in here on 9 o'clock, here being the arcade garage, and uh, went ahead and rebuilt the Missile Command monitor and did what's called a Sense Mod on the power supply. So we have a good, strong 5 volts going to the board. So I'll just show you here. There's a snapshot of the screen. It's awesome. Great game. 1980. 40 years old, it's awesome. So just a quick snapshot, I, what I do is I change all those capacitors. You see that line on that one right there in the center of the screen? That's a filtered cap for the B plus voltage. Basically just maintain some DC voltage at a steady 120 going into that uh, chassis so that it uh, throws everything up on the screen the way we want it to. Um, but there's all kinds of capacitors on there, I forgot to count, but I mark them because I go through and I check the orientation before I fire it up. Um, a little dirty, but uh, that's to be expected, 40 years old. Now this is what's called an AR power supply, an audio regulator power supply. And so basically what I did was, is I, I jumpered a couple of things on this plug here to make sure we got a strong five volts going to the board because what Atari did was they put a sense circuit in here. So the board here wasn't getting the, the plus five volts. It would shoot a little more voltage here and a lot of times it would fry these boards. So I went ahead and it's got a nice steady five volts now. It's a good connection here too. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and replace that blue, big blue they call it, and then we're gonna call it good. Um, it's funny because when I open these machines, sometimes you get a little note from an old operator. Supposedly this one was non-repairable per Steve on March 19th of 98, but it, it was repairable. So that one's good to go. I'll do a super Pac-Man here in a minute. Bye-bye.